Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, guys, I do have a Friday morning editorial for you. It's the one I went with. Uh, there's so much to talk about this morning. It's like I'm going to have to take an elephant and put it in a coffee can. There's just so much to get in so short of a time. I'm going to try to do it. But before I get to the editorial that I'm going to talk about, and you saw the video clip at the beginning. <clears throat> uh, yes, people are talking about Houston PD. They've terminated officers that were involved in the Nicholas Chavez shooting. And Joseph Heil Grimaldi came out. Let me see your papers for a union, for the union. Um, yes, little midget Grimaldi came out and said it's deplorable the way these officers were treated by the Houston Police Department and for this, you know, suicide by cop shooting. No, it's deplorable the way Nicholas Chavez was shot by police. If it was a suicide by cop, they didn't have to shoot him at that point in time or the manner in which they shot him. Um, so, but they did, and I'm not going to really go into it. You've probably already seen the story. Everybody's been bringing it up to me. Yes, those officers from Houston PD were terminated and should have been, in my op humble opinion. Um, not always right, but that's how I stand. Joseph Grimaldi, shut up. Oh, that's right. Joseph Grimaldi is coming for us. So I'm coming for you. I'm going to give you to the dogs. Uh, anyway, moving on. So that one, the Houston PD has terminated officers involved in the Nicholas Chavez shooting. I'm going to give you something real quick and then we'll get to the editorial of the day. But I think some people are getting confused when I upload these little previews of other people's videos and direct you to their channel i think people are thinking that i'm trying to upload a video and they're going you didn't give us enough context i can't comment on this well i'm not expecting you to comment on those and now i'm going to give you a red flag to let you know when it's just a preview when you see the red advertisement come up that says the following restricted preview has been approved for appropriate audiences by community leo watch you know when you see that and hear that little advertisement know that I'm not giving you something to comment on or something to really look at. There's probably going to not be a whole lot of context to it. I'm giving you a preview of somebody's video. And that's why if you go to the description box, you can click the link and you can go watch it. So it's like, you know, you're watching a, a movie or you're watching television and then a commercial ad comes on. One man against the world having sex with everyone coming soon to a theater near you by the way no you know that and that's what i'm doing is i'm just giving you a preview if it's interesting to you if that commercial is interesting to you you'll go to the movie theater and buy a ticket or you'll go to netflix and see if it's there or whatever and you'll watch the movie if it's not interesting to you you'll go it doesn't look good that's all I'm doing. So if when I do that little red advertisement and then you see a little 30 second to two minute video of someone else's channel, you can go to the description box if it's interesting to you and click the link and watch the movie or go watch their whole video. So no, I'm not trying to give you something where there's context and you go, okay, I get it. I'm just giving you something that whets your appetite and you go, dude, what happened? That looked good. What? What? I need to know what happened. And then you can go down, you click the link, you go to their channel and watch their whole video. So that's all I'm doing is I'm supporting all these people by giving them a little bit of uh, advertisement there. Um, I don't always back the people that I'm showing. Like some of them I think are idiots. But I want you guys to have the opportunity, and some of you support these other people as well, uh, have the opportunity 
to go watch that video and make your own or draw your own conclusions on whether or not you think the cops are right or wrong. So that's why I do that. So it's just a preview. I'm not uploading like a video where it's like you've got context and you're supposed to make a decision and make a comment. I'm just saying, look, hey, look what happened, guys. And you watch it. And if it's interesting to you, you open the description box and you'll click the link and go watch the whole thing. Okay, so I hope that clarifies it a little bit so people don't get so confused when they see that red advertisement come up. No, oh, this is a, this is a, a movie trailer for somebody's video. So moving on, let's get to our editorial. I'm sorry I'm talking really fast, but like I said, I'm trying to take an elephant and shove it into a coffee can. I just got a little bit of time here that I'm going to give you your advertisement. You're going to hear a bunch of noise over here between my rabbit jumping around in the cage and the kittens fighting. I, I'm on Noah's Ark here. Thank you to Syracuse.com for this story. Head of Utica, New York, the Utica Police Department suspended an officer Thursday after body camera footage showed the officer kicked a suspect who was handcuffed and in police custody. In a statement, Utica Mayor Robert Palmieri said the city will seek to fire Officer Matthew Falito for using unauthorized physical force. The case has been referred to the Oneida County District Attorney's Office to determine if criminal charges are warranted. The suspension stems from an incident last Friday, September 4th. Officers responded to a 911 call on Spring Street from a woman claiming Kerwin Taylor was threatening her with a gun. When officers arrived, Taylor fled and was caught soon after with an illegal firearm, officials have said. Paul Mary published the body camera video showing the arrest and the aftermath. In the footage, Taylor can be seen struggling with police for about eight minutes after he was caught and handcuffed. <laughs> He curses at officers and threatens to sue them while claiming they leaned on his neck while handcuffing him. At one point, he appears to spit on one of the officers. After a long physical struggle, several officers wrestle Taylor into the back of a police van. As the officers exit the van, one officer, allegedly Felito, can be seen stomping at least three times on Taylor's head. Paul Mary said another officer intervened and stopped Felito. According to the Democrat and Chronicle newspaper, Felito reported himself as having done something wrong that night. The complaint worked its way up to the chain of command. Felito is currently suspended without pay while the department con cut conducts an internal review. A statement from City Hall reads, quote, The swift and decisive action taken reflects our values as the city will hold all of its employees accountable when inappropriate conduct occurs. So a couple of things here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with me and say, well, that guy deserved it, man. And the link to this video, which is pretty long, will be in the description box below, below the news story. So I put this news story in a link and below that one is the YouTube video of the uh, police body camera it's a long the guy was fighting with him the guy was screaming about you put your knee in my neck i guess there was a cop laughing because he goes you think it's funny fat boy huh fat guy you think it's funny you know and he spits on or tries to spit or spits on the one cop and he just curb stomps his head so to speak wasn't on a curb but he was handcuffed he had ankle cuffs on as well and the cop just, mm, you know, you spit on me, motherfucker, you know. Um, but what I'm saying is some people are going to say, oh, well, the guy deserved it, man. Mm -hmm. Fight the cops, you know, play stupid games, get stupid prizes. But the thing is, no matter what that guy did, and to be honest with you, I'm not siding with the suspect so much. He's a piece of shit, is my my uh, opinion. I know people say, well, if it was a false arrest, you don't know why the arrest. He could have been fighting a false arrest. It doesn't matter. The guy was being a jerk. When the cops handcuff you and put you under arrest, here's a little tidbit. I know you want to be a patriot and fight the false arrest. You're not going to win. Just go, you know what? We're gonna. I'll see you in court. This is a false arrest. This is an unlawful arrest. I'll see you in court. You're going to buy me a new house and a Mercedes. You know, <clears throat> so I mean, you, don't be a jerk and fight the cops. It's not going to work. But I know some people are going to side with this guy and go, well, he, you know, 
or no, somebody, some people are going to side with the cops and go, he deserved it. Mm -hmm. He deserved everything he got, blah, blah, blah. No, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what that guy did. And I lost my train of thought, but I know what I was saying. The guy's a piece of shit, in my opinion. But the cop had no right to stomp his head like that when he was handcuffed and had chains, on, uh, ankle <laughs> chains, ooh, that's bad, ankle uh, bracelets on. Yeah, okay, the guy spit at the cop. You know what? That's part of the job. Football players get hit really hard when they catch the football. Basketball players get elbowed sometimes and pushed when they're trying to get up under the basket. Cops get spit at. It's just part of the fucking job. And if you don't like it, go find another job. I'm not saying it's justified. I'm not saying I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying it's part of the fucking job. And you got to go, you know what? That's assault, buddy. I got you. Because it is. If you spit on somebody, that's assault and battery. So th this cop had no, no justification to stomp on that guy's head like he did. But here's what I want to bring out. So I know some people are going to side with the cop and go, well, he was right. No, he wasn't right. He lost his temper. He fucking lost it. He did wrong. But here's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to be too hard on this cop because they're reporting here that Felito came forward and said, I think I did something or I've done something wrong tonight. I did something wrong. So he manned up, and so the guy lost his temper. I'll give it to Matthew Felito. He lost his temper. He lost it. He said, you know what, fucking earnest guy, man. He had fought with him for eight minutes. So he's human, and I'm going to give the guy a small break. He don't need to be fired. I know some people are going to disagree with me on that too, but I don't think Matthew Felito should be fired because he came forward and said, I did something wrong I fucking lost it and I stomped on the guy. He needs to be trained on anger management, dealing with difficult people, and the use of force. That's what he needs to be trained, retrained on. And then put him back out on the street and see how he does. I think Matthew Felito should be given another chance. I think he's going to get fired because of the temperature of the country today. And people are going to say, he stomped on a black man's head, you know, and then he's going to get fired. I, I see it coming. But me, Community Leo Watch, I think he was dead wrong in what he did. But the fact that he came forward and said, I, I fucked up. I did something wrong tonight. And... Um, under the circumstances, the guy was fighting with him. The guy spit at him. He just reacted. So I'm not going to give him, I'm not going to be too hard on Matthew Filato, this Utica police officer. But I will say, Matt, you were wrong. And you know you were wrong because you came forward and said, I fucked up, man. I think I screwed up tonight. So he manned up. So, but I think he's going to get fired because, of, like I said, the temperature of the nation and all the protests that are going on. Utica does not want people burning their city. So there you go. Um, I want to know what you guys think about all I've said here about Utica and anything else. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. Happy Friday. Uh, let me look out the window, see if there's any smoke. There's a lot of smoke. Oh, yes. I don't see any brown fire or black smoke or anything, but I see a lot of white smoke coming over those hills, so I think the fire is probably still burning on the other side. Have a good weekend, and on Tuesday, I guess they're doing something here in, in Ukaipa called Burn Your Mask. So I don't know. Are they going to be burning masks downtown? <laughs> Let's find out. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers literally from coast to coast on this Friday.